Getting kids to connect with nature can be a challenge, especially in this technolo technologically advanced age of social media and high tech gaming. But right now in downtown Atlanta, leaders from around the world are gathered for a conference dedicated to finding ways to create access to the outdoors for children and families. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken is live at the Hyatt Regency Atlanta this morning. And Paul, it's a pretty yes. exciting week down there. Really busy. And by the way, Sharon Lawson, I apologize when I wrote that script. As I wrote the word technologically, I first in my head, I thought, is is this a real word? And number two, I thought, whoever has to read this, I am Thank so sorry. You. I didn't even I know if I spelled it correctly. <laughs> if it was a real word, it sounded good to me. So anyway, we'll move on now and talk about the Inside Out International Conference happening here in downtown Atlanta. And this is really amazing. So this is a gathering of leaders from around the world who are discussing ways to connect children and families with nature, which is something I think we've all thought about a lot, certainly over the past several years, but especially during the pandemic. You know, we're thinking about ways to get outside, to explore our own backyard, and an organization that thinks about that all the time, that finds ways to connect people with nature, is Hike It Baby, and we're at the Hike It Baby booth right now with Jessica and Deneo. Jessica, it's great to see you. I'll start with you. What is Hike It Baby? Hike It Baby is a national nonprofit that helps families get outside with their babies and young children. Yeah. We have all kinds of community-led hikes in over 300 cities across North America. Yeah. We have a branch here in Atlanta, Georgia that families can join. They can find hikes happening in their neighborhood. Oh, I love that. We're really super loose about what hike means. It can be going to play in the park. It can be um, going for a walk downtown with a cup of coffee, or it can be out on the trail in a traditional hike. So yeah. um, it's really just about helping people feel comfortable getting outside, especially with those little ones. Yeah. Um, because that can be kind of intimidating. We have a community that helps support everybody. We have fun activities and um, lots of great resources on our website, hikeitbaby.com. Wonderful. So we'll link that to our website. And it really sets an example, doesn't it? If we go out, even if it's just for a walk down the street with our kids, it's setting the example for them that, hey, you can get outside. You can do this and be active. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And just, it's amazing how when you start with them really small, they just get really comfortable out there. I know I have a five Five year old and an eight year old and both of them have hiked since they were in my belly yeah and um, now like my eight year old just went for a nine mile hike on her own two feet okay so. you don't have to make me feel bad now <laughs> this morning I didn't need to hear that but that's amazing so Deneo let's talk about this conference for a minute I mean really the goal of being here this week is finding ways not just to connect kids in nature but also to provide equitable access to all children and families in nature why is that important to you it's very important because uh, especially being here for the first time, Hike It Baby, We've, we are so excited to be here just yeah. to connect with like local uh, organizations. And uh, yesterday I had a pediatrician come into the table and she was like, this is what I have been looking for. It would be great wow. to have uh, an organization like this talking about it and yeah. you know, just the message of supporting new parents. This is why we're here. Yeah. But most of all, to make connection with other nonprofit organization right. and yes, to just be in one spirit here. It's all about getting every in nature. Yeah, and I love that it's happening here in Atlanta where we have so many opportunities to connect with nature. Speaking of that, tomorrow you guys are hosting a family fun festival in the afternoon. It is free for everybody. Tell me about it. Yeah, so we're having our Bring It Outside Festival. We want everyone to come down and join us. We have lots of cool prizes to give away to families. Um, we'll have a fun pop-up tent site where you can play camping, roast a s'more. You yes. can do some different fun activities with your kids and just have fun and see what what's out there as yeah, a family. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's great to see. And I will say too, just the smallest incentives can get kids and families outside. Because when we walked over to your booth earlier, the first thing that Tim and I saw were these little trail guides where you can keep track. And both of us were like, I want to go hiking now so that I can keep track in my trail guide. So I'm going to take one of these. Is that Definitely. okay? Definitely. Please do. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. I love this. So just the smallest things can inspire people to get outdoors. Great to see both of you. Thank you for all of your work. And we'll have more information in just a minute about the festival tomorrow. But you know, it, going off of what they just said, Joanne, Sharon, Natalie, I feel like if just a walk with a cup of coffee is a hike, we <laughs> hike every day. Every I no day. Idea. Just Non-stop. Just walk into the, from the studio to the coffee pot. <laughs> 
back to the studio for sure. We're hikers. It all yeah. counts. It counts. Right? I think so. <laughs> and I'm going to log that in my book. There you go. <laughs> that is fair. Paul, thank you. Well, tomorrow's, uh, bring it, tomorrow's rather, Bring It Outdoors Festival will take place from 1 to 4 p.m. And it's happening at Rodney Cook Senior Peace Park at Historic Vine City in Atlanta. The festival is free and open to the public.